swing state as well, but it's also a state that was severely hurt um, in the housing crisis. So this year, more than others, voters were thinking about their own bottom line as they head to the polls. The Daily National's Mike Baco is here to talk about this. Um, Mike, um, have the candidates been speaking to the economy at all? Because there's been so many negative ads that have had personal attacks. Have they, have they gotten off track with what the voters want to hear in Florida? It's somewhat. The one track that they have been on, they almost have a one-track mind of going after each other, whether it's Romney hitting back at Gingrich for some of his ties and consulting work that he did with Freddie Mac, and then Ging Gingrich coming right back at Romney, talking about how he's actually profited from some of these foreclosures because of his investments through Goldman Sachs, through his blind trust. So the one constant is that the candidates are going back at each other addressing this issue. They're not doing that great of a job of actually addressing the issues that the voters are bringing to them, though. So what do they need to do? What do the voters, um, what, what does a voter in Florida want to hear as it relates to the economy, as it relates to housing, as it relates to jobs? What do they want to hear? They want to hear answers. They want to hear how these candidates are going to be doing it. But as you mentioned, the majority of these ads are negative ads pointing out the faults of the other candidate. Very few ads are really coming to the forefront and presenting ideas. Romney mm. is certainly falling back on his background in terms of creating jobs. But for every quote that gets in by Romney about how many jobs he's created, we're equally brought in by the fact that Gingrich and other candidates are pointing out how many layoffs his companies have have forced the, the companies that they've taken over to do. So you get this back and forth going and neither one is really getting their point to the forefront. Okay, might there be um, a course correction <laughs> moving moving forward, looking forward to to the next primary, the next state? Might they tweak their message? You would certainly hope so. Certainly in Florida, which is very much, was very much up in the air until Romney really pulled ahead by this 10 point lead. It'll be interesting to see moving forward. Think about this housing crisis. We're usually used to seeing signs supporting candidates on people's lawns. Now mm -hmm. you drive around neighborhoods and you see for sale signs yeah. in Florida. Two out of five people are in this foreclosure crisis. And it's, it's a message that's going to be spread throughout the rest of the country, whether Romney wins by 10 points or single digits, whatever it is, he really needs to come up with a plan and get that plan across to voters, not just talk about his past business performances, talk about what he's going to do moving forward. So basically saying, I have this business experience, but this is what it means for you that I have this business experience. Exactly. Okay, mm -hmm. Mike Baco, thank you very much. Susan? Michelle, a Michigan mom is furious because her son, a cancer survivor, was